Hey guys, welcome to the Hatsune Miku Makeup Tutorial by Girly Cosplay. I kind of took inspiration from Michelle Fan for this one, but let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do is tie all your hair back. Get it out of there because you don't want any loose strands getting in your makeup and just falling out and ruining everything. Next up, guys, is to moisturize. Moisturizing just keeps your skin nice and smooth and helps apply the makeup evenly. Some people use primer, uh, both work really well, so it's just whatever's your preference really. Next up is the caffeine eye rolling, guys. I use the one by Nude. Uh, I just think it really helps get rid of my dark circles. Next up, Lucas Pore Pore Cream. This stuff is miracles in a jar for your lips. Time for some glue. Now this might be really weird to most people, but if you're a cosplayer, you understand. Uh, it really just helps to lighten your eyebrows, especially once you put concealer over it. This is especially good for uh, bright coloured wigs. Now I don't usually use uh, foundation for my look. I usually use a really, really pale concealer because I'm really, really pale. And I just dot it all over my face for an even coverage. You really do need to dot it absolutely everywhere, even though you look a bit sick. Uh, now take a bigger brush and just blend it all out. Absolutely everywhere to make sure it's even. If you're worried the brush isn't doing a good enough job for you, you can use your hands just to smudge it out a bit more. And eventually you will get an even coverage, a bit like this. Time for a translucent powder. So I use one from the body shop, it's the palest it can get and you just take your biggest brush and spread it everywhere on your face. This helps to set the concealer or foundation, whatever you decided to use. Make sure you just get it in all your creases, uh, especially around the corners of your mouth, so your makeup doesn't crack. Now take a bright electric blue colour with a large eyeshadow brush and from the outer corners of your eye go inward and this will probably take over three quarters of your eye. Make sure you also go well above the crease because this is an anime look and you want your eyes to look huge. So the higher you draw your eyeshadow, the larger your eyes are going to look. Make sure you also pull it out way past your lash line. Don't be afraid to use your ring finger to help blend the eyeshadow out. It really will make your eyes look bigger, like so much bigger. Going back to your eyeshadow palette with a smaller brush, Go for the lightest blue and a slightly lighter blue than the electric blue you just used and mix them together. You'll use this in the inner corners of your eyes. This will help brighten your eyes up a little bit and make them look even bigger again. And make sure you blend it in probably halfway through, once again using your ring fingers to blend it out. Using an angled brush and Snazaroo's white face paint, load up your brush and you're going to bring out your eyes so that the whites come out really, really far. You can also use a white creamy eye pencil for this. I just prefer face paint because I think it lasts longer. And don't forget to line your waterline because it really does help make your eyes look really, really huge. And it'll blend in with the white face paint you've put on your under eyes. With a slightly larger angled brush, you want to go back to the electric blue colour and line the white face paint and or eyeliner that you've used. This will create a new lash line once we add false lashes. Don't forget to put this in your brows as well because this will help to frame your face and add colour to match the wig that you will put on later. With a large blush brush, apply pinks to the top corners of your cheeks just along the bone. This will help really bring out a doll-like look in you 
Now, I don't actually have pink blush, so I just use pink eyeshadow. I find it works just as well. All right, onto the eyeliner. So for this look, I like to use a textured felt tipped uh, eyeliner brush. I feel it gives a bolder look and a better base for your false lashes. Just start in the middle of your eyes and work your way out. You also want a cat eye for this one. And make sure you also add a tiny black line between the white and blue on your bottom. This will just help add definition for when you add your bottom lashes. Taking the thinnest brush you own and a variety of lip colours, with the lightest pink you own and a light glitter pink, mix them together just to create a bit of a new colour and apply this in the centre of your lips and blend it out by pressing your lips together and then pushing them out again. The aim of this look is small doll-like lips to make your eyes look bigger. So what we're going to do is take a darker pink with the small brush again and just lightly apply it in the centre of your lips. Press them together and this will make the insides of your lips look darker. Always have a towel nearby just to get off excess makeup, it's really helpful. Now onto false lashes. Uh, I find putting the top lashes on first is really easy and most top lashes will fit across your eye, if not you can always just move them out along the cat eyes and comparing the difference, false lashes really do make a difference on how big your eyes look. Taking a medieval torture device, <laughs> I mean your eyelash curler, Gently crimp and curl your eyelashes in with the falsies that you've just applied. This will help make the eyelashes sit on your own eye frame and it'll just look more natural this way, especially from a distance. Using bottom false lashes, cut them in half and apply them along the white and blue line you created earlier. This is your new bottom lash line. I find that cutting the eyelashes in half really does help and make it easy to apply. Plus, it will suit any shape of eyes this way, just so you can fit it around your own eye frame or the design you've created for yourself. Now that your makeup's done, your eyes look huge and you're looking like a doll, Grab your wig cap and slip it on over the top. Now you've got your costume on and your wigs out. It's time to comb everything all out and make sure that there aren't any tangles or knots inside your wig. I usually like to keep my pigtails or all my long wigs in plaits and undo them and comb them through. That way there are less knots. Adding the hair accessories and clipping on your pigtails are the last steps in completing your look. And that's it guys, your wig's on, your makeup's done, and you're ready to go out. Have fun, and keep cosplaying. You are now Hatsune Miku. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Songs used in this video, The Disappearance of Hatsune Miku, 
Kashi Mitu Baby and Sweet Devil. Yeah, I